What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Now we're all obviously in quarantine and quarantine, let's, we're not going to beat around the bush. It's very, very boring, isn't it? So I've been stuck at home and I've been thinking and, and I mean, that's never good, first of all. But obviously we're doing some stuff to the R8 and I keep coming up here and obviously not being able to drive the Ferrari, which is right here. But it's gotten me thinking, should I modify the Ferrari? We just started it up. Obviously it's already had a few things done, like the exhaust. We just started it up. Here's a clip of that. So if you walk around, I actually, okay, first of all, can we just address one thing, the elephant in the room, what's going on here? Yes, I know, quarantine, desperate times, guys. I actually, I, I don't have an explanation for this. I just don't have an explanation. So let's, let's not comment about it. Let's just move on, we'll all be okay. Actually, you know what? One last thing before we continue with the video. 73% of you are still not subscribed to this channel. So if you feel like joining us and seeing more videos and what we'll potentially do to this 430 Scuderia, the R8, and many other, many other things, why don't you hit that subscribe button down below. Join us on this adventure. I'm going to give you a couple seconds as we do now in the video. You can stare at my feet while you do that. Right. Now you're subscribed, hopefully. We can talk about the car. So I bought it exactly the way it is. You know, I haven't changed anything on the car. So I bought it and it had these wheels painted in black. So these aren't stock. Normally they're kind of like a matte gray, silver color. Really, really cool looking. All scuds kind of came with either that or gold wheels. These were painted back in black, where I can put them back to original, no problem. It's then got tinted windows here, which I think looks really cool with the whole blacked out look. And then obviously around back, it's got the Capristo race exhaust. And I bought the car with all of these changes on it. So I haven't actually changed anything. However, I asked on my Instagram, which is at Seb Delaney, if you guys had some changes you'd like me to do to the car. So let's hop inside and I'm actually going to run through the photos you guys sent in because you guys are really, really good with Photoshop and we're going to talk about it and we're going to see them together. Welcome inside the 430 Scuderia. Nothing's changed, obviously. Completely stock in here. It's got the race harnesses, but everything's completely stock. Oh, we had a door closed. So I'm going to go through some of these photos. So we've got, first of all, from team 2286, who sent me this photo. Now, what's going on here? We We've got fluorescent green Ferrari logos and brake calipers. I mean, it looks pretty cool, to be honest. So thank you, first of all, for sending in the photo. But I'm going to stick with the yellow purely because of, one, it's the logo color, and two, and this one, the spec is obviously gray like the exterior, but then yellow stitching all over the place. So yellow um, Cavallino there, yellow stitching on the seats, obviously yellow here. So I think that kind of complements the interior a bit on the exterior, so I'm going to stick with the yellow. Next up, we've got Trom's Cars, who sent me, so this is, I don't know if this is a rendo or real it's based on a normal scuderia and it's liberty walk it looks like completely lowered new wheels i mean like a whole whole body kit that's that's not gonna happen i mean i want to keep the car stock and maybe just do small little visual things purely because I, so i want to get the car ppf and while it's getting ppf obviously after quarantine when i can drop it off i might as well i could t ask them to do a few little things details around the car it's not going to get a full body kit or anything because these are obviously going up in value so that would kind of completely ruin that so that's not going to happen i appreciate it though <laughs> oh my god i've just fallen you did this you made this yes you did oh and fast with sebastian this is horrific how much time did this take you 20 minutes clearly i mean you've put bloody birds up in the corner right so what are we talking here with i mean you know what funny enough i'm not a huge fan of the flames down the side nor am i a fan of the name all over the car i mean it's not the most classy thing you've done here i mean that that scoop on the roof that roof scoop is bigger than the bloody wheels then we've got a wing on the back and the front but what is that front bumper it's a liberty walk gtr bumper on a scuderia i mean that was the only bit i saw and i was like oh and then i looked at it and i was like no that's actually terrible as well you've even put my lucky number eight on there <laughs> Jesus. Right, moving on. So, Trom's cars again. This is pretty cool, actually. So, there's a few things I like here, a few things I'm not a huge fan of. So, first of all, wheels. Not going to change the wheels, so let's ignore those. I appreciate, of course, you know, you, you sending in and being so creative with this. You guys really are talented. So, the wheels, um, I'm going to leave the way they are. And you've kind of put like a TDF air inlet on the rear three quarter, which looks kind of cool. But again, I'm going to leave that stock. What I do like what you've done here is the yellow accent. So, the yellow accents on the diffuser are very cool. I really like those. And the yellow 430 logo. That looks awesome. And the blacked out lights. Those three things I really like. I want you guys to comment down below what you think because I think we're going to decide on this together. But that's pretty cool. I mean, I just kind of want to try something a little bit different. And mainly because I think I'm just bored at home here. But I like the black lights and I like the yellow accents. I think they complement the car nicely. Oh, he's done the front as well. Oh, yellow lights. That could be cool. I can't figure out if I like that or not. That could be something worth putting on and seeing how it looks. Very rally-like. It's so 
warm in this car right now. <laughs> I'm boiling. Clement Carino. Now, he sent an... Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Now, this is serious. So, this looks like it's based on a Scud, but the wheels are kind of challenged to dial 430 wheels. No, I think it's based on a 430, potentially, but it's got the Scud exhaust. Huge diffuser. Yeah, the whole rear end's been changed. The wing. The whole... I don't think wings really suit 430s, to be honest. I think they look a bit too much. I mean, it looks cool. Not for me, though. But thank you for sending it. Oh, now, this is sick. Matteo Decta. This is sick. Okay, I really like this. So, on the front, you got the blacked-out lights. Oh, do we touch the front lights or do we black them out? Do we do yellow? I don't know. Oh, it's a tricky one, this. I really like the yellow detailing, actually, on the rims. I think that looks... Some people will say it's terrible. I know that's going to divide opinions, but maybe we try it and then see how it looks. I think that's pretty cool, to be honest, having the yellow like that. Mm, I quite like that. And then, oh, the rear. Okay, so we've got the yellow accent around the diffuser again. That's very cool. And then another yellow accent kind of around the, what they call the challenge grill, which is in carbon fiber, obviously. That's pretty cool as well. I'd never seen that before. And then obviously the big change is that Italian flag, which I can't decide if I like or not. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, it's very Ferrari. It's kind of cool. You have the same details on the belts. Yeah, that's true. You got the Italian flag there. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I'd never seen that before. I don't know if I like that or not. Hmm. Well, you guys tell me. That could be that could be a good shout. Right, we've got Ulmana X Spotter now. Right, so he's gone full yellow here. So we've got yellow on the front, so the yellow stripes. I'm not too sure about the yellow stripes, to be honest. And the yellow fuel filler cap cover. Yeah, I'm not sure about the yellow stripes. I really like the silver ones on this. I feel they go really well with the grey. And that was obviously quite an expensive option on the car, which I didn't spec. But yeah, I think I would keep the stripes the way they are. PPF the car. But oh, okay. I like what you've done here behind. Again, the yellow accent around the diffuser. I think that's the thing I'm kind of edging towards the most. The blacked out license plate is cool. The yellow Ferrari logo and the yellow 430 Scud logo. That's quite cool. The yellow 430 Scud and the blacked out lights, obviously. Blacked out lights I love. Very Novatech. I know some people maybe won't be massive fans, but I, I think that's really, I think that's one thing I would, I would do on this car because I I, I've always, I remember spotting cars at Top Marks that had those blacked out lights, Scuderia's, and it was so sick. And I've kind of always wanted to just itch that. Even if we leave it on the car for a month, I think it could be kind of cool. Okay, last one. And this is from Nico Alki. This is sick as well. This is pretty sick. Fully blacked out. Blacked out 430 Scuderia logo. Blacked out license plate. Blacked out lights. But leaving the reverse light, the white reverse light. Um, white and then actually he's tinted the rear glass which is where you'd normally see the engine bay completely tinted that I don't know about that it does look very cool but isn't it kind of sacrilegious to cover up the engine bay so you can't see the full carbon engine bay oh so many decisions I like all of these I'm also boiling in this car so let's get outside to talk about the rest <gasps> this is plexiglass not actual glass I mean you would be able to wrap on it I'm not too sure the ins and outs of how that works but yeah let me know I mean so the car's going in for PPF so I figured you know it's the perfect time if we do want to change things like the lights and stuff so but I really want you guys to give me your opinion I'm very undecided on it originally I was just going to leave it this way if you think I should do that let me know as well definitely the classiest option is to just leave it the way it is but why don't we you know try something and if we don't like it we can just take it off the card but yeah let me know what you think and obviously it sucks being here and seeing it every day and not being able to take it out for a drive because we're not allowed more than a mile away from our house here in France. But, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's nothing that's very important at all. I hope you guys are all home. I hope you guys are all safe. That's the most important, that you guys have your health. It's weird times, but these are times that you can, you know, kind of start thinking and take the time to think about things you maybe wouldn't necessarily have given time to before. So anyways, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Very simple. We're trying to now do three videos a week on the channel. Let us know what you think of the way we're doing it. We're doing one video a week on my cars, so R8, Ferrari. One video a week on other cars in general, exciting new cars, you know, best cars for under a certain amount of money or things like that. And then one video a week on a celebrity's car collection. So kind of a new format we're testing out. Let us know in the comments if you like it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So please subscribe if you aren't already. Follow me on Instagram and I'll be seeing you again very soon. Cheers guys. Bye-bye.